Good morning and welcome to Outdoors with John. This morning we're going to hike the New England Trail in the Mount Tom Reservation. We're going to be starting here in the parking lot in the middle of Mount Tom uh, and hiking south to the summit of Mount Tom. If you remember in a previous video we hiked up to Mount Tom from Route 141. This is going to complete the mileage within the Mount Tom Reservation uh, for the New England Trail. Today's hike is going to be a little bit of a loop hike once we've covered the New England Trail, we're going to take some other trails back here. Should be about four and a half, five miles uh, all total today. If you like this content, please support the channel by subscribing, hitting the like button. Okay, we uh, just finished a brief stretch of on road for the M&M Trail or the New England Trail. As you can see, we're now heading into the woods. Trail to Mount Tom. Summit. Our plan for today is to start here in the middle of the reservation and head south along the Metacomet and Monadnock Trail all the way to Mount Tom down here. Um, we're likely going to take an alternate route back which may involve either some of these trails through here or possibly coming down the old Mount Tom railway grade and working our way back up through the park here. We'll see how it goes when we get there. All right, Mount Tom lookout, six tenths of a mile. Okay, we've, we've just gone three tenths of a mile. We come to our first junction. Here on our left is the uh, quarry trail and straight up those stairs is Mount Tom. So we're gonna continue hiking on to Mount Tom. Okay, we just finished climbing a, a set of switchbacks. Through the trees you can see some of the other mountains, Nanatuck, Goat Peak, a few other mountains north of us. I took off the puffy coat because I'm warm and uh, we're going to continue hiking up the rest of this hill. We're about a mile into the hike and we reached our first overlook. The terrain here is pretty rocky. Going up the crevice here. <clears throat> we are currently at the summit of Whiting Peak, and we've got some excellent views here. To the south, we can see Southampton, or the south end of East Hampton, anyways. East Hampton to the west. And to the north, we have the north end of the Mount Tom range. Through the trees, you can see the tops of several peaks over there. And we're going to continue hiking south. All right, we're coming to another outlook up here. There's definitely no shortage of great places to check things out. Wide open viewpoint here. So we're standing on uh, Whiting Peak or at least part of Whiting Peak. Uh, tremendous uh, views from here. And if we look as we're going south here, the next uh, hill is Dead Top. And then after that, Mount Tom. So let's go hike. Looks like we have one last viewpoint before we leave Whiting Peak. And this is probably the best view we've had so far of Dead Top, which is our next objective. So we're gonna go down in the little cull here, work our way up again. So we're about 1.6 miles into our hike 
coming down in the cull between Whiting Peak and Dead Top, we have trail junctions. On the left here is the Quarry Trail and the KB Trail. And if we go ahead a little further, there'll be another trail split as, they, as the trails temporarily join forces here. And here's our second sign, which tells us that we have come only nine tenths from the reservation road, although I've got 1.6 on my Garmin. Maybe it's all those extra stops to check out the peaks. Um, we still have 1.3 miles to go to Mount Tom. And uh, off here to our left is the Quarry Trail and the Middle Loop Trail. We've reached the first outlook on Dead Top. Looking back north towards Whiting Peak. And now out here to East Hampton. And then we're looking back towards probably the summit of Dead Top. We're now looking back at Whiting Peak, which we just left from Dead Top. And ahead is the summit of Dead Top. We're now at the summit of Dead Top, and over my shoulder, you can see the towers on top of Mount Tom. So we're getting pretty close. We're looking back over the cliff at Dead Top. You can see the park road. As I pan up, you'll see Whiting Peak, which is where we just came from. Now hiking on the ridge between <clears throat> Dead Top and Mount Tom. We're literally walking along the edge of a cliff here. It's very steep and there are many views down here of the park. As we head forward, we can see the towers that line the top of Mount Tom and we are looking at Mount Tom itself. Another fabulous view out here on the M&M &M between Dead Top and Mount Tom. Well, as you can see, we're doing a fair amount of uh, ridge walking here. And that's the first tower, which I thought was what I would call Mount Tom, but it's not the first tower. There are many towers. The reality is we still have a ways to go to Mount Tom. I think it's that tower, that peak with three or four towers on top of it. That's our destination. All right, we've reached the summit of Mount Tom. Probably not as scenic as all the stuff we've been doing. Um, you can check out a previous video. I'll put a link in the corner up here. We're now walking down what was once the roadbed of the Mount Tom Inclined Railway. It's mostly straight with a consistent grade. We get to the bottom, we'll be hiking back up to our car. The area we're passing through now is a bit of a fill with a slight curve to it. As you can see, we just left the cut up there. We're gonna come across a high fill here. And I think there might even be a culvert here. Yeah, it looks like there's a culvert right here. And we're coming through a rock cut here. This may be the one I was thinking of. 
postcards that I've seen of trolleys coming through a cut. This is quite a cool cut. I've come to the memorial for the B-29 crash. I'm gonna go up and check that out. Today is a special day. Today is Veterans Day. Well, there definitely was a turnout on the Mount Tom Inclined Railway. And it may have been here, but the uh, pavement is wide here for trucks to pass. So I imagine that was probably the same spot. Now coming to the turn where the Inclined Railway made a close to a 90 degree turn. Unless it went through the quarry, which is possible. Um, maybe it did. Yeah, actually, I think it went straight ahead over there. So this turn was not the route of the trolley. It looks like it's flat until it goes to those rocks, which is where the quarry is. So I imagine that the quarry dug up part of the right of way. And that this stretch here is just an access road. The trolley didn't do this. I'll have to look it up on the maps. Leftovers of the quarry, maybe the Boys and Girls Club here. Um, or the skiing lodge. You can see some, um, I would say some ski trails up there on the hill. We're going to take the quarry trail on our right to uh, the New England Trail, 1.1 miles. And that'll bring us back to the New England Trail just before we get to Reservoir Road. Okay, we just uh, finished the short Knox Trail extension which goes down that way, red blazes. And now we're heading yellow blazes on the quarry trail. Coming to a junction with the middle loop trail. And uh, we're gonna go straight on the quarry trail here. We are now half a mile to the New England Trail. This quarry trail seems to be, I don't know, I would call it an old cart road possibly. It's got the feel to that, it's pretty wide. An unmarked intersection where the intersects with the Keystone Trail behind me going across the bridge and the DOC. But we're gonna continue straight on the uh, Quarry Trail. Okay, that completes the Quarry Trail. We're now back at the junction with the New England Trail and we're three tenths of a mile from Reservation Road and a short tenth of a mile after that back to the car. So thanks for coming along with me today. It's been a great hike. Totally uh, phenomenal views uh, heading out on the uh, New England Trail getting to Mount Tom from this direction. Definitely the direction for the views. If you're going to hike Mount Tom, hike it from the north. All right, thanks for joining me today. Have a good one.